now another exciting episode of Superman. Tonight's episode, Stan Hooper's first day at the Daily Planet. At the Daily Planet in the heart of Metropolis, Cub sports reporter Stan Hooper talks with mild-mannered Clark Kent. Little does Stan know that Clark Kent is actually Superman. Hello, Stan. Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, hey, Clark. Yeah, what's up? It's about Lois. Lois Lane? Oh, my God, she is hot. I went on a date with Lois Lane last night. What are you talking about? Lois Lane is the sexiest woman I've ever seen in my life. She wouldn't be seen dead with you. She went out with Superman last night. Boy, oh, boy. What I wouldn't give to be that Superman guy. Stan, I am Superman. Holy Lord. I never considered that Superman might have a secret identity. Hey, if Lois Lane only knew that you were Superman, in no time you would be having sex with her. Hmm. Then and there, Stan Hooper began to hatch a plot. He would convince Lois Lane that Superman's secret identity was in fact Stan Hooper, not Clark Kent. Then, and only then, could he realize his fiendish dream of seeing Lois Lane naked. Oh my god, look out the window! There's a meteor headed right towards Metropolis! Great Caesar's ghost! If only Superman were here! Excuse me, I have to make a phone call. You do? Oh, uh, hey, hey, Lois! What, Stan? Listen, uh, I I gotta go make a phone call. Okay. Huh? Yeah, I'll be back uh, probably after that meteor thing settled, alright? Alright, alright. Alright, then. Where I go? There's Superman! Superman punches the meteor with one mighty blow and sends it careening back into space. As he flies away, Stan Hooper stands cowering in a hallway. Ready for Superman! And in a flash, Superman changes back into mild-mannered Clark Kent and enters the room. What did I miss while I was on the phone? <laughs> Only the biggest story of the week, Kent! Strange how whenever there's trouble, Clark, you always seem to be gone. I know, Lois. I was on the phone. Hey, guys, I'm back. Ooh. Ah, I'm out of breath. Oh, my goodness. My fists hurt from that meteor. Or, um, uh, that is to say, uh, phone. Are you all right, Stan? Sure, I'm fine. No reason to be suspicious. No reason at all to be suspicious. Hey, Lois, uh, you look real nice in that thing you're wearing there. All right, everybody, back to work. Ken, enough of your gold bricking. Miss Lane, can I talk to you alone? Sure, Jimmy. Did you ever notice whenever Superman shows up, Clark's never around? Come to think of it, Jimmy, you're right. I'm not around either. What's that, Stan? Huh? No, I'm just saying I'm uh, I'm not around when the Superman shows up, right? And your point is? No point. I mean, it's just kind of weird. I leave, he shows up, whatever. Huh? You look good. Great Caesar's ghost! It's a giant crane, and it's holding a school bus filled with children! It's Lex Luthor! I'll be right back, everyone. I have to go buy, uh, a wallet. Lex Luthor? That man's my sworn enemy. I mean, uh, who's that dude? I gotta go. Hey, there's Superman! Superman grabs Lex Luthor and uses his heat vision to turn the crane into a jail cell. He then frees the school children to safety. Stan Hooper, in the meanwhile, cowers and smokes a cigarette in the hallway near a phone. In a flash, Superman changes back into mild-mannered Clark Kent and enters the room. Anything happen while I was gone? Oh, it's you, Clark. Newsroom. Hey, Lois. Your voice sounds nice on the telephone. Oh, hey, is this you, Stan? Stan? No, it's Superman. Why? Do I I sound exactly like Stan Hooper or something? Yeah, Superman. (laughs) Ha, ha. Well, I was just uh, flying through the sky there with my cape, and I thought I'd uh, phone you dudes up. Bye. Bye. Hey, dudes, what's up? Miss Lane, see what I was telling you? Clark wasn't here when Superman was here, and as Stan pointed out, neither was he. I'll bet you one of those guys is Superman. Clark, I have to ask you a question. Are you Superman? Well, Lois, I've been... Wanting to tell you this for a long time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Lois, listen, Superman would never reveal his secret identity to you because it would put the entire free world at peril. (laughs) You know what I mean there, don't you, Clark? I think I do, Stan. No, Lois, I'm not Superman. (laughs) What a dork that guy was. Stan? Yes, I am. What? The Superman. You got me. I am the Superman. 
Oh, Superman, I can't believe it. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> so listen, uh, Lois, uh, you look nice in that thing you're wearing. Why don't, uh, why don't you and me uh, go over to the Fortress of Solitude? Fortress of Solitude. I've always wanted to go there. Yeah. Well, it's a lot different than people think, you know. Uh, actually, the Fortress of Solitude is in a, a room at the Y. But uh, I got a roommate living there with me now, old Jack. So we're going to have to be uh, real quiet on account of he just got his knee drained, and uh, he's not partial to strangers. Oh. Yeah. But we'll have a good time anyway, me and you. I'll get us a bottle. Okay. Later that evening, Stan escorted Lois to his Fortress of Solitude located at the YMCA. He was then informed by a security guard that no female guests were allowed after 10 p.m. Stan then tried to convince Lois that the Fortress of Solitude was actually contained within a dumpster in the back alley of the Y. Lois fled. Stan, dejected and alone, went back to his usual haunts of the Deuce, 42nd Street, a known hangout of male prostitutes in the ill. Tune in next week when Superman does battle with Kryptonite Man... 